Hello Warriors, it's Decrans here, and uh, what I want to do in this video is make a slab mug. So let's get started. So a few things here that I'm going to need is like number one, I got my bag of clay. Number two, I got uh, my tools uh, for molding and sculpting. I got the, the fork, the sponge, the um, popsicle stick, the butterfly paper clip. Number three, I got uh, some slip, so just a cup with a little slip and water and clay. Uh, number four, I have what's called a wooden dowel. Um, and uh, if you have a, um, a, what's it called, a rolling pin, uh, works better than this. But uh, this is my cheap version of a rolling pin, which, I don't know, I got under 20 cents by the time I cut all these up for you guys. Um, so uh, I got that. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna need is like a bag and some uh, paper towels. Uh, what paper towels to like put in when I get done with it. And then uh, the very last thing is before I get started, I want to draw a picture of kind of what I want to make. So uh, in the uh, Google slideshow on Canvas, I have a bunch of different examples. You go on Pinterest, you can go uh, Google Image Slab Mugs, uh, but uh, or you just think of different things you kind of want to make. And I kind of want to make a funny looking mug here. Um, uh, which I'm thinking uh, some little character, maybe it's arm is coming up uh, for the handle um, to where I'm kind of thinking for my mug. So I just drew a picture for kind of what I'm thinking for my mug to get started. So the first thing, because this is a, a slab mug, um, we're going to make our own slab. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some clay out of my bag. And then as soon as I get the clay out of my bag, I'm going to go ahead and seal this up so it doesn't get all dry. I want this clay to stay nice and workable. So I'm gonna start with like a kind of like a bigger because this is the first slab thing be kind of big so maybe the size of like a, uh, a softball maybe a little bigger just gonna get some play out here and I already got all this uh, clay wedged up. But like if your clay isn't wedged, which most of your clay should be wedged if you're just taking all there. But if you work with it a few times, just make sure there's no air pockets in it. And uh, so this is going to be um, the clay that I'm going to use for my slab. So what I'm going to do is kind of get into kind of a little rectangle shape here. And then I'm going to start using my roller to start rolling this out. Let's see if I can get a better, bigger view for you guys here. So let's use my roller. Kind of rolling back and forth. And this first slab is going to be kind of big because um, it's going to be the walls for the slab. Then I'll make a second slab, which will be one of being the um, the base. So I'm going to want my slab to go five inches for a size of cup. So I want this to be kind of a bigger, bigger mug. I'm just rolling it with my palms and once I kind of get it a little bit then I just pick it up and move it around to the other side. Now if we were in class um, I got some like big rolling pins and then what I like to do is I like to take two wooden um, uh, pieces and uh, put them on the sides that my ro roller would rest on. That way it ensure it's all the same, um, the same thickness. But because we're not in class, I don't have all that, and I don't have a giant roller. So, you know, we're just going to do the best we can with the situation we have with coronavirus and all. So it's getting a little thinner and thinner. It's still pretty thick, though, so I want this to be about an eighth of an inch in thickness all around. You kind of want it to be all the same thickness.
Okay, so I'm getting to the point where it's uh, getting to be long on this top and bottom. And I want to make this into like a long rectangle with piece, so take piece. So I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my paper clip. I'm going to take a little bit off the top. That's it right there. And I'll take a little bit off the bottom. And I'll break this off and put it on the sides so I need to be a little longer. It's like really long rectangle piece. So now we're just gonna do a little bit of measuring. I think I'll do one well, about five inches. So I'm kind of planning for my height. So I think I'll just grab this extra stuff off the end, make a little cut right here. to the bottom where it starts getting a little bit narrower. Just kind of roll this into the And there you got kind of my slab. So I'm thinking about doing five inches. So I'll make sure it's all five inches on the top, from the top to the bottom. And I'm gonna do mine five inches by 12 inches. You can do it a little bit longer. Like the longer you make it, the wider it's gonna be. The shorter you make it, the shorter, um, the narrower it's gonna be. Five inches right there. Okay. 
So now I got the slab five inches by 12 inches. And then this will be for my side. So what I plan on doing is then it's going to come all the way around. And then together to make make the walls of my mug. So now that I got that, I could put this aside here. And what I'm now going to next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the base. So I got my clay. I'm going to grab my dowel. And this I want to be a little bit thicker. The walls are about an eighth of an inch. Um, but you don't want to go any lower than an eighth of an inch. Eighth inch, a quarter inch. Well, this bottom I'm going to have about, eh, let's see, about a, a fourth and eighth. So I'm going to grab a little bit more clay, and I can tell you some size. Now, if you want to, um, you could actually go and you can measure it out, take a little bit of math, get the circumference. Um, get the diameter of the um, thing to make it um, uh, precisely have it be the width and everything you want it to be. Um, and you can go do that if you want. Um, right now I'm just going to show you the easier way to do it though uh, with, with more of eyeballing it. Okay, so now I have my base and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the walls of my mug and I'm going to wrap it all the way around the two sides are touching and I'm going to make sure it's a nice circle and one of the ways to make sure it's like a nice circle is you can take your the, the wooden doll kind of put it in the middle make sure the, the walls are nice and flat and just kind of get to the size the shape that you want it to be in I got nice round circle, keeping the walls all flat. And now I have that, then I can go ahead and I can just take my butterfly paper clip. And let's go all the way around it with my butterfly paper clip. Okay, now I have my base, and my walls. So next thing now is to score and slip. Attach the two pieces together. So I'm gonna grab my fork, and I'm just gonna score up the edges. Then I'll grab the bottom of the wall and I'll score up the edges on the bottom of the wall. And 
the sides, the, the two sides of the wall for my, or the sides of my, mug. So now I got, then I'm going to add some slip. So I got my slip right here. And again, some slip on the all the edges where it's going to attach to the base. So the edges where it's going to attach to the base, and then the two sides which are attached to each other. And then you can go through. And then you just put it right up on top of the base. And then attach the sides together. And then I'll just use, like can use the inside of the doll to make sure it goes right to the edges of the base and then that the walls are attached Then right where the two sides are attaching, you see the line right there. I have to put the wood doll on the inside and just kind of blend them right into each other so it's all one piece. And then you do the same thing on the inside. So, but you want to have the one piece on the outside just so it doesn't bend out of shape. So, if you want it straight up and down, I mean, if you want to bend out of shape, you can bend into a different shape if you want to bend into. But now the insides are nice and smooth. And then I'll work on the outside and I'll probably just use my sponge here in a second. Smooth the outside together. That's a, a good start. Now, if yours is pretty wet and movable, you might want to let it sit and dry for a little bit. Otherwise, mine's a little kind of wet, so I'm going to wait for it to dry just a little bit before I like start shaping the bottom a little bit more. At this point, though, you kind of get the idea. Okay, the next part now is I'm going to create an eyeball, uh, some feet, and some different uh, attachments right onto this.
So I'll start out with looking at my pitcher, my mug. Can I set this aside? And I'm gonna roll out some more slabs. So I'm gonna roll out some slabs here to make uh, an eyeball. And I think I'm gonna do a big eyeball and a small eyeball and a nose and a mouth. Um, so for that, start to uh, grab this and I'll start going with some slabs. Okay, this will be my first eyeball. And you can do whatever kind of size you want for your eyes, whatever um, you want for the shapes, however you want to decorate it, it's up to you. But <coughs> for this uh, project, it's to decorate. I'm gonna add your own designs to the slab mug. It's a lot, as you can see, it's going a lot quicker than the coil mug did. This gives you a lot of time to really make some cool things onto it. So I got my first eyeball, and I'm going to have the inside circle for the eyeball. And then I can just score on the back of where I'm going to attach this. Score onto the eyeball itself. Add a little slip. And attach it right onto there. And then for the mug itself, I'll figure out exactly where I want to put it. I put this one right here. And I'll go through and I'll score the back. Score on the mug where we're going to attach it. Add a bunch of slip. And then attach the eyeball right on top of the mug. Then I got a second eyeball, which will do the same thing. Now this will be a little bit more smaller, just to make this thing look like a crazy creature. Rolling out a slab, making my second eyeball. Get in a good shape. Then slip and score. Score it up. And 
add the slip, attach it right onto it. Next, I'll uh, get a nose. And for my nose, it's going to be kind of like more of like a, a triangle. But then I have like two nostrils, so be thin, kind of coming up. on one side last on the other side blend it all together And then I'll attach it right up to the top of here. So I'll go through and I'll score the back. Score where I'm going to attach it. Add some slip. And attach a nose right onto the cup itself. Next, uh, I'm going to do is uh, add a mouth. For the mouth, I'm going to have two teeth. So I'll do the teeth first and uh, just get the shape of those. We got one tooth. Second tooth. And the tooth are just uh, squares. Then for the upper lip, I'm just going to roll a coil. A little bit too big. So it's thinner on the edges, thicker in the center. Then I'll go ahead and I'll attach the coil to the bottom of the cup by, you guessed it, scoring and slipping. So I'm putting my hand inside as I push it, uh, push the lips right on it, so it doesn't move it on the inside a little bit. Then um, I'll do the bottom lip. Do the same thing, just a little coil, a little bit smaller, and then I'll score and add this.
up to the very bottom. Get some slip on here. Score up to the very bottom. And I'll attach the bottom lip. And then the teeth. So I'm going to have underneath the bottom lip. You know what? Now that I think I'm going to change things. I just think it would be kind of fun now to make this into instead of a tooth into a tongue. So I'm going to deviate off my, my drawing. You can deviate off your drawing if you want. Drawing just like a nice template to get you started. And then I'll score the um, the tongue where I'm attach it. Score the tongue on the bottom lip. This will be a job for the popsicle stick. I'm use the popsicle stick, kind of get it right in there. So you kind of get the idea it's, uh, it's coming together. Um, again, this is however you want to do yours. If you want to add some like feet or anything like that, it's pretty easy. You can just go ahead and give yourself a foot, maybe it's a paw. Whatever you want and just attach it then. Attach it to the very bottom. Uh, score and you attach it. Um, then, uh, as you're as I'm working this, and grab my sponge. I got some areas where I got a little bit of cracks in it. Nice my sponge and smooth out any cracks. Even nice and smooth. So, last thing uh, you can do then is like add your handle. And for the handle, uh, pretty simple. That's just a coil. So I got my coil. I round up my coil. For my coil, I was thinking about having this be a hand up on top. So I would then go ahead, flatten this out, make some fingers and a thumb. Let's grab in the inside. Size. 
Now I'll go with that and score. Add some slip. And then smooth it right on in to the cup itself. So as you can see, my cup's kind of coming together. Um, I'm going to continue adding a few more things onto this, maybe some like eyebrows um, or eyelids. Uh, eyelids are pretty simple, it's just uh, a flat. A flat uh, um, slab right up on top of the eye to get your eyelids. Eyebrows are pretty simple, eyebrows are just a coil. And I would just smooth it right into there. Um, and I continue adding on to this. So this is pretty much it for the, the side mug. I think you guys got it. Um, now uh, uh, I'm going to then go through and I'm going to uh, smooth out the bottom. Make sure I add my initials to the bottom and the class period. There's a few like touch up things, but um, you guys got enough, enough uh, an idea to get started. So I'm looking forward to seeing your, your mugs um, um, and what kind of designs you put on there. Thank you.